They had homesteaded the land from Marble Falls west and north along the Colorado River to near what is now Kingsland. Hogs were not fed out in those days, but ran the range and were fattened on acorns in what <coughs> in the oak tree country. Their dogs were of great help in this as they could use two dogs and one man and his horse to, to pin the ho hogs when they were ready for market. They drove the hogs to Austin where they were slaughtered and sold from their packing plant. Uh, during the Depression, my dad, we had we had the, the dogs, of course, all, all my life until uh, uh, well, after I, I left home and uh, went to school. Mother still and dad still had the the hogs as uh, dogs as long as they lived. But uh, during the Depression, mother carried was a mail carrier, so and dad uh, had his horse and the dogs. And he was people, ranchers, who wanted their hogs uh, to wanted to gather their hogs would get dad to bring to bring his the dogs and go come in and he would gather their hogs, he his dogs and his horse for one day. For for their for their work would get up to thirty dollars. And that was in the depression, and but the people couldn't gather their hogs, and Dad had his dogs, so uh, he, uh, it according to how many, how long it took him, and and whatnot, but that helped a lot in during the depression with Mother being able to. She only carried the mail for three days. What it was, Daddy got the, the. Uh, uh, Wait a minute. Oh, got the bed. I was trying to think of the word. He got the bed for the a mail route. Then he deputized mother to carry the mail. <laughs> then he would. Then he could work with with his dogs and and hogs. And of course, my brothers. Or by that time, my oldest brother had already graduated from A and M. He graduated in '30 when the depression first started, and this then this other brother, the one that I rode to school with behind on the horse, he and uh, was still home, but he graduated in '35, and he went on to a and m So uh, all during the '30s, that I mean they the uh, money was hard to come by, and uh, by dad being able to uh, work and uh, gather hogs for people, and mother could carry the mail. Then on Saturday, Saturdays, my big treat was a five cent ice cream cone, and that was great because a lot of kids didn't get it. We lived in a an older house, and it was built with a porch. It was built in an L shape. The uh, original room was a log room. I was born in that log room. And then it had been added on to in both directions. So that left a porch in an L shape. And in that, the, where the valley came down, we had a, a rainwater tank. And it was up. So in the summertime, the dogs would get under there and rest whenever the, the dad would come in from, from the uh, Pasture work in the pasture when he was close enough to home. Well, uh, he would the dogs would get under that uh, tank. So uh, my oldest brother uh, worked with him in the summertime, and so they'd come in and they'd get out there on the sleeping porch and take a nap before they'd go back to to work. And the dogs would go under that tank, two of them, and. Uh, They'd get to rest, and, and so Dad would say, Myron, I guess we better get started. And he said those dogs would come out from under that tank barking, and they were ready to go. Those dogs liked to work. They didn't know. We didn't. They weren't pets. We didn't have any. They were pets as far as 
when they weren't working, we took care of them. But uh, we did, uh, the lacy dogs weren't known as pets back then. They were all working dogs. <laughs>